Hey guys, how's it going? It's Dan Coney here, and welcome back to Overwatch. So recently, there's been a bit of an update, right? To the, there's this big hoo-ha that they are updating movement on Overwatch, right? I am currently on live Overwatch. I'm going to go into quick play, and I'm going to play as Pharaoh and Winston. These heroes, you should feel a big, di apparently a difference between these heroes on live and on PTR. Because on the PTR, movement changes have been introduced, which literally affect every hero. But they are more felt, they're felt more with... It's easier to handle in the air, and you can make bigger adjustments in the air, apparently. So, I'm going to make sure I play as Winston and Farah. And if I can't get Farah, I'll just go... Actually, I should probably insta-lock Farah. Because I'll probably get Winston later on in the game. I should do. I should do. This is the seventh video I've recorded today. <laughs> I'm going out my mind in the second Overwatch video in a row. I've got another one to do after this. So. This is so good recording before Christmas. Um, This video today is going out Christmas Eve Eve. Saturday, 23rd. I know my dates. Don't worry about it, I know my dates. But I need to get out of spawn, come on. But I... I don't know how long this video will be, because... Obviously we need to use everything. Ugg sneak. What is un sneak? Ugg sneak. 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 Looks neat. I think that's how you say it. Come on. Obviously, I've played these heroes before on, li on live, so... Do I really need to do this? No. But I kind of wanted to do a direct comparison. So, I play them before on live, and then I play them after on PTR. Boosk! Take some direct hits, Torbjorn. I don't like you. Oh, there's a Widow. I should have guessed that on the quick play. We we to be on, pay on, on payload. I'm not quite sure what that McQueen was doing. I can go over here. Ah, I missed the boop. I missed the boop, that's embarrassing. But I've always found it quite difficult in the air. Always found it quite difficult in the air in Overwatch. I don't know why. I'm not a particularly good Farah. Um, I'm not why Winston, but that's not because of the airplay. That's because of I should not be going back in a straight line. That's a really stupid play. That's a really stupid play. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I need to now, now test this properly, right? Back online. So if I go up and near, up and near, I can move freely side to side, but you can't easily adjust going sideways with movement. It's really bugs me. It's very slow, right? I'm not where I want to be. There's a Bastion? Really? Now I'm going to switch to Winston. Now I've been playing a bit of Winston recently. I'm not going to lie, I've been playing a bit of recent, recently Winston. I've been playing a bit of Winston recently. <laughs> um, in comp, even. So it's kind of interesting to me. More than it is on the Farah, it's interesting to me on the Winston. Let's see if I can... Ah, uh, that's... <laughs> I've been playing a lot of Winston recently. Jumping down. Okay, so they're going to have to come down. Get off, get off, get off. Mine's on a Kenton. Where is she? Where, where is the person on point? Oh, you bitch. Come here. 
Calm here. Lady. Get wrecked, Bastion. <laughs> Who's in here? Oh, it's Baby Diva. Come here, Baby Diva. Come here, Baby Diva. So if I go up in here, it's, it's difficult to steer side to side. Okay, there's a bastion over there. I've got your number, mate. Where did my barrier go? <laughs> Where did my bubble go? <laughs> Where did my bubble go? I'm not even kidding right now. I liked my bubble. I got quite attached to that bubble. <laughs> what was that jump? Okay. A boom. Anyone up here? Nice. No one up here. Yeah, this. What do you say? I have a red turret now, I'm not. Let's just go in. Kill Torbathorn. Kill Torbathorn. Go on, soldier. Shoot them all, soldier. Shoot them all. Onward and upward. Onward and upward. Stupid chair, get out of the way. 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 Can I can I dive long here? You appear to have ah, it's a, it's 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 a widow maker. Bye, widow maker. I'm just gonna move this. You know, I'll just move it. Push. Oira, diva, get out of that mech, Missy. Get out of that mech. I'll leave you now, thank you. Where'd you go? 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 Hello, Diva. I'll now kill you. Oh, fuck. I left it too late. That's my bad. Perhaps we could move this? Oh, ugly! <laughs> no. No, no, no. Oh, okay. Someone desperately wants to use their new Bastion skin. Further experimentation. Intends just to leave the game. It's quick play, you know. Get onto the BTR. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good. I got stuck. What did I got stuck on? Okay, leave game. So I'm gonna now switch over to the PTR. I'll see you there. So, as you might be able to tell, I'm now level 145 and I've got 119 loot boxes. We're on the PTR. <laughs> We're on the PTR. Oh, look, placement matches. I didn't know competitive play was available on the PTR. So, that's actually a bit odd. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What about Blizzard World? Have they literally they pulled Blizzard World now? Wait, hold on, have they got new hit? Oh wait, hold on. I'm getting distracted now. The new handsy skins on here? So it is! Look at that! No grey hair. No grey hair for old Hanzo. Nice. That actually does look better. That actually looks pretty good. That's kind of screwed me up because there's no competitive play. Not competitive play, quick play I mean. That's kind of screwed. Uh, what do we do then? Let's see if I can create a custom game here a minute. Welcome to Blizzard World. Right, Blizzard World. I haven't been on Blizzard World recently. I haven't played a lot of the PTR recently, but now they've removed Blizzard World from Quick Plays anyway. They've removed Quick Play entirely. So, let's go to Winston then. Imagination is the essence of discovery. Oh, he does seem to have more movement actually. Ah, that's weird. 
What the, oh, yes. Yeah, I see it now. Oh, that's weird. Okay. Yeah, this is a buff. This is a buff. So, on live, if you jump with Winston and you press D, say, to go right, it will go very slowly right, right? Too many rights. But now, you do it on PTR, you push, and it really does drag you. And you end up going directly right. That's so weird. I didn't really understand it to start off with. But it does. And it will move you. Oh, that's so weird. Yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. That's... It's a lot more obvious where you're going to go. Let's try this with Farrah. I will protect the innocent. Let's see this then. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. She's got more movement. Yeah, yeah, she's got more movement. That's, that, uh, that's for sure. This is going to make Farrah harder to hit. Because obviously when Farrah was in the air, she was fairly vulnerable. I can't even hit these guys, that's bad. Let's not embarrass myself any further. I can hit you though. Yeah, when Farrah was in the air, she was fairly vulnerable, right? But now she can move to the side much more effectively. That's a better hit. So, yeah, this makes Farrah harder to hit for someone like a McCree, I would say. Now, obviously, if you're like a... If you're a soldier, I don't think you'll have too much problem. But if you're a McCree, you've got to hit dead shots, right? And if you're if you can dodge more as Farah, I mean the change isn't massive. And if you don't play a lot of these heroes, I mean I don't, but I play a lot, lot, lot of Overwatch. If you don't play a lot of these heroes, then you won't necessarily notice too much. I definitely noticed that with Winston. It's very weird. It's very weird. In my opinion, it's more noticeable with Winston than it is Farah. I think. It's more... Something I'd like to try this out with a minute. Hold on. Oh, I missed my boop. I missed my concussion. I want to try this with Junkrat. I want to see if Junkrat's got more air control when using a mine to jump. This could be interesting. Because I do play a lot of Junkrat. It's a perfect day for some mayhem. So if I put a mine down here... Uh, see, I don't really notice a change of Junkrat. Junkrat's like he's always been. I think the main thing is, is you can adjust much easier in the air. So, if I... Hold on. If I jump, go that way, and go that way, it adjusts quicker than... If I'd done that on live, I reckon I wouldn't have even gone right. Even though I'd be pressing it in the same way. I would have gone left, and then I go right, and I do actually go right. That's interesting. There's definitely a change. It's, it's weird. And it feels quicker. It feels quicker. I don't, know any, I don't know any other heroes this might benefit. Massively, massively. Because I've also seen... It, the, the change is to make sure that... You're not... You're going at the same speed everywhere, right? That's weird. My Junkrat's in the background. That's so weird. Um, the change is to make sure that... You're moving at the same speed, right? Imagination so if I was going uphill... Things did tend to slow down slightly. And also with Winston, his jump, he slides upstairs now. Right? If I jump on the pe if I jump on live here, I will not end at the top of the stairs, I will end here. I can't do that because Blizzard is Blizzard World isn't on live on PTR, so I can't do a live I yeah, Blizzard World isn't live, so I can't do a direct comparison. 
But now things slide upstairs. The same with, uh, hold on a minute. It comes in with a change for other heroes or another hero, i.e. the fixes this guy's getting. Only through conflict do we... Now, this guy, obviously doing this, has a lot of problems. But if you fist up here now, you see, you fist up and you actually hit what's at the top of the stairs. Before you would have fisted into the stairs and no damage would have been dealt. But now you're fisting, you're going right up the stairs and you're hitting the pole that's up there. Now it's indirectly, it wasn't meant to, but it's indirectly affected Winston. But <laughs> I think we're okay with that. See if I do this, I slide up the stairs. It's a there's so I'm gonna wrap this up. There are movement changes coming to Overwatch. Will it have a massive uh, effect to the way you play the game? No, it won't. A lot of it is uh, feel good changes, but especially like this. I mean. If you fisted and went straight into the stairs there when you were aiming for someone at the top of the stairs, that would be pretty annoying, right? So a lot of it's quality of life changes. Some of it you will notice, like the Doomfist stuff, like the Winston stuff, like the Farah stuff, you might notice it a bit if you play the heroes a lot. But it's not going to massively change anything. But, or well, I keep going up and down these stairs because I find this fascinating now that you can actually do it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you on the edge of another fist. See you then.